Hello my darlings and welcome to another edition of The Key Secret Life. We are now in the kitchen with the only only me, Mrs. Fanny Claddick. And tonight we're going to make Sunday dinner, ready to fill your tum tum. So for my Sunday dinner, we're going to start off by cooking mashed potato. So what I've done is I've peeled two potatoes and we're going to cut it into little Andre round go sheets. In the back room and start cleaning it out. Like this. I overheard you saying that you're going to come and do it. And then next we put the potatoes into the pan of cold water. One at a time. And the most golden rule is most important. You must wash your hands before you cook food. But as I say, and I've said it before, my hands are very clean. So I've given Danny Delonco another shampoo. Okay, next we need some butter. We must have some butter in for the mixture for the mashed potato. So I got this for 50 pence just around the shop where I live. And what we do is get a scrape the light of this. And pour it into the pan. And another big lump as well. It does look like a pile of shite, doesn't it? But obviously it's not shite. And let's put in the cream for roche into the pan like that. I've swapped the potato pan with the mixture pan so the butter can melt along with the cream for rashi and the milk into the, the pot pan and then we can add a bit of salt and pepper. Okay, I, I put it in the blender just to get rid of all that lumps and we put a little season of salt, uh, sorry, pepper inside there. And followed by some salt. The next is the carrots. What I'm doing is I'm putting it in the big pan and softening it with cold water. Lovely pair, lovely pair of carrots. Next, you have to cut them into coin shapes. But don't forget to cut the ends off. Carrots are on the stove, ready to be boiled. Coming on along nicely there. Yes, when cooking potatoes and carrots, please make sure that you wait until it's completely fully boiled. So the potatoes are fully boiled. Now the potatoes I should pour into the sink, but first we must use a drainer. To capture the potatoes to drain all the water out. As is no good, I use a spoon. <coughs> That's what I get for cooking it too high. So pull the potatoes into the drainer. And I can't see a bastard thing because of the steam. And go like this, spin it round and round like Pete Burns from Dead and Alive. Now we transfer it back into the pan. And 
now see carrots are boiled. I might as well turn it off. And I can pour the mix I did prepared earlier into the pan with the titties. And using a masher, we must bash it down. Looks a bit runny, runny, runny. So what we need to do, what I've also done as well, people, is I put a bit of flour inside just to thicken it up a bit because maybe I should have done that in the first place. But it's still looking canny good and tasty. Okay, the carrot is now going to be unlocked. <laughs> and transfer the carrots from the pan into the basin. Whistle it round, of course. Okay. Nice, runny, thinny mashed potato. So for the carrots, I'm going to add some Chardonnay. So next, we put the Chardonnay, make a little tipful of that, and then just Oh, like that. Give it a lime taste. Had you ever seen it before? Maybe you may think it's bizarre, but seriously, try it. And sprinkle the pepper on top, just like that. Okay, Yorkshire puddings. Got some nice sunflower oil, crisp and dry. And just pour a little dropful into each pan. Each drop and pour, drop a little bit into each section of the cake tin. And this will prevent the Yorkshire puddings from sticking because otherwise if you put them in without the oil they will not rise and they will cause all sorts of mayhem inside that oven. And what we do while we're waiting is, okay so the first thing for Yorkshire puddings is just pour little the bits of flour, a reasonable amount, not too much. A bit like that much. <coughs> okay, and next what we do is crack open four eggs. Drop into the pan. Not forget the milk either. And just mix the whole mix in. So I've used the blender just to give it a bit of a booster. And what we do with the oiled cake tin is pour ingredients into one bit each. Like this. Oh, 
Nice, lovely mashed potato, now blended mashed potato with carrots with lambrini and pepper on top. And we do have some good AV for the Yorkshire puddings too. Nice, lovely golden Yorkshire puddings covered in gravy like this. Hey. Oh, I've just farted. So then what you need to do is just give it a good taste. So we start with the mashed potato. Now they blended mashed potato. Mmm, delicious. And now the carrot. Oh, gorgeous, delicious carrot. I feel half cut already. Last but not least, the Yorkshire pudding. Oh, heavenly. Absolutely heavenly. That is it for this video. Until the next time, goodbye.